Select kitchen items for living local provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Well, welcome back, everyone. Today is National Baking Day, Bacon Day. Yes. So, for baking with Bisky, we're doing everything with bacon. But, you know, New Year's Eve right around the corner. Sure. So, we want to make sure that everybody is prepped on how to open your beverages okay. the right way. The and right way. Yes. So, we have got red wine here, and we've also got a bottle of champagne. Sure. So, tell us what you did with the red wine, how to open it. I'm not very good at opening wine bottles. Not really my thing, but uh, I was able to figure this one out pretty easily. Bisky helped me. What do you did you score? Yes, so the make top sure of you it? score the foil on the top of your wine bottle. Because I was trying bottle. to open it like an idiot. No, you were just, you were intense. I was on I'm the right path, inside. but I didn't do it the right way. So, and then boom. Yep. Plop down and. Corkscrew and go just in. make sure that you put your corkscrew on um, when you put it in. Make sure that you are going straight because otherwise you will break the cork and then you will end up with bits of cork in your do wine. Do you have a tip for when that happens? Then that is when you get the strainer out and really hope for the best. I say that happens to all of us, right? Yes, it does. So, ta-da. So when you pour red wine, you're supposed to only pour like halfway in the glass so you can let it kind of aerate okay. and do its thing. So if you want to do that, then we'll move on to um, the champagne over here because a lot of folks are going to have, you know, some sparkly bubbles for the holiday season. Just a few. So do you know the difference between champagne and sparkling wine? I have no idea. Is this right up your alley? Yes, okay. this, is, this is my area of this expertise. Is <laughs> so the difference between sparkling wine and champagne, champagne has to come from Champagne, France. It has okay. to be created from sure. a certain region. So sparkling wine is everything else. So Interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, you learned something new. So when you open your bottle of champagne, you actually twist the bottom instead of pulling the cork out of the top. Because that way you don't lose any bubbles. So you just hold on to the cork and mm -hmm. rotate just twist the bottle. The bottom. Okay. Never point it at your face or at anybody else, as tempting as it may be for some folks. Right. And when you pour champagne, you actually pour it twice. So you let the fizz go down a little bit, and then you top it off some more. There you go. So there you go. There is your New Year's Eve beverage tips. Now, you know, I'm interested in what's yeah. going on over here because we have asparagus, bacon. I'm not, not the only one. That's a lot of people's two favorite things. Right. So we are making bacon wrapped asparagus today because it's National Bacon Day. Great. So we have got some asparagus that we've had chilling in the water over here. So we're going to undo it. Now, lots of folks will chop off the ends of their asparagus, but I'm going to show you a little trick so you I can know. I chop the ends off. Well, now you're going to find out something really cool that you can do. So instead of chopping it, if you're not sure where it's tough at, sure. just break it. You just snap them? Yeah, so you want to work on these? Yeah, give me a few of those. You work on that. So you're just going to snap the ends of your asparagus. That lets you know where it's tender at. You don't have to eat that tough stuff that, you know, just kind of lingers. So you snap your asparagus. Once you have a few ready, then you're going to take some bacon. I like to uh, cut it in half just because it's a little bit easier sure. to wrap it around. So once you have your asparagus ready, you've got your bacon cut in half. You are going to take a couple of pieces of asparagus. You can toss them in some olive oil if you want to, a little pro tip. Okay. I love garlic infused olive oil. So, um, you know, it's just, there's so much you can do with this. So you can go ahead and wrap your asparagus with the bacon and just kind of tuck the bundle underneath there. You know, another thing that you're really good at, spraying the, the bacon That's sheet. It. I can handle that one. <laughs> I have faith in you. So you want to lightly spray your baking sheet, or you can do this on the grill, either way. Whichever is easier for you. Are there multiple ways to cook this? Yes, that's what's beautiful about asparagus. It's so easy to prep, and there's so much you can do with it. Do you typically grill it, or are you? I love it grilled. Okay. I'll, I'll put a little um, garlic infused olive oil on it. Sure. And then just kind of let it sit on the grill and do its thing. And it doesn't take but like, you know, a couple of minutes. It's perfect. What's the trick to wrapping these? So the trick to wrapping it in is just love. That's you it? Just, that's it. Do okay. you want to give it a go? Yes. Okay, here, jump on in. I'm not getting anything culinary. So. No, you can do Maybe it. I can handle bacon. So I believe in you. That's it. You're just. So you just kind of wrap them in. Just tuck them in like that. Okay. Like you love them. A little bacon love there. That's and it. Then, yeah, and it's then you put simple. your bundle on the uh, on your cookie sheet. Yeah, he's a pro. He's I got, got this. this. So once you do that, you can add a little salt and pepper if you want, and then um, stick them in the oven for just a little bit. You know, you can do like 350 um, for maybe like five ten minutes. You just look at them. The big thing when you cook oven cook asparagus in the oven, you don't want it 
to brown. So when you're doing this at home, is this just a side dish for what? Everything. Okay. Everything. It's so good. That's a we're favorite. gonna put, yeah, we're gonna put the recipe up on the website, okay. architectshomepage.com forward slash loving living local. And we're gonna have more loving living local when we come back. You got it. Getting ready for New Year's.